Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. Hey guys, I'm Ross Mack and I'm from the south side of Chicago. Now a lot of young kids don't have the same access to financial literacy and that's why I developed Maconomics. We're bringing Wall Street to Main Street and now we bring it to the campus. My name is Paula Shin. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I mean, my family, I think we were a little unique because it was literally just me and my mom. I was more savvy with the internet, so I was the one in charge of doing anything internet related, like paying the utility bills. A lot, in a lot of ways, we she treated me like we were roommates. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm Paula, nice to meet you. Nice Hola. to meet you. So I get my scholarship money once per semester, but how can I make it last? You just gotta ask yourself, what are your expenses every month? Well, the main thing is gonna be rent if you're living off of campus. And how much is rent? The average, I'd say, is about a thousand per month. So here's what I would do. Say you get, you know, $10,000 a semester. What is a semester? What, like four months? The idea for me would be to divide it by each month. Okay, say you got $2,500 a month. Now you want to start budgeting and understanding every month this is how much I could afford to spend on groceries, on dining out, going to parties and traveling. And then another thing I would think about is also understanding what all your goals are for that semester. So say you want to go on a big spring break trip, but you still got the same $10,000 they got to last. So rather than that last month, you know, you only got $2,500, but it, that's how much it actually costs for the travel in the hotel. What I would do is actually start pulling back different money from other months just to ensure that you have enough money for that actual month of traveling. But when it's all said and done, budgeting, 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 and then understanding what your goals are for each month and trying to say, you know, if in this month I'm going on a big trip or this month I'm, you know, going to some big exhibit, you want to know what that is up front. That way it could allow you to kind of live within your means all the other months to, you know, ensure that you're able to afford that other big purchase that you have coming up. Now is critical. You're learning, you know, the type of things that you're probably gonna wanna apply for the rest of your life and that's literally how to budget. Honestly, it gave me a lot to think about, thank you. In my friend group and socioeconomic group, I think that we're very comfortable talking about money because a lot of friendship activities cost money. So when we say like we can't do this because it's going to cost too much, like no one's going to be like, oh my god, like you, you hate me, you don't want to hang out with me, you don't want to go on this trip with me because you can't afford it. Be sure to subscribe to Million Stories. Oh my gosh, these helicopters are so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, they've literally been coming every five minutes. Yeah. I wonder if they really help. <laughs>